Hey everybody, so I'm back. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you probably won't realise I've had some health issues. Uh, and as a very quick update to those that do know what's been going on, the virus is gone now, which is great. Uh, not COVID, by the way. Um, and the other health issues completely unrelated to that. I've got treatment um, for one of them and I'm now waiting on a scan, but I've got to wait till June. I have to wait to June for some beef though. Today, I am just going for a jolly. I actually do want to go to a shop in Southsea eventually. Um, I might just head there to be fair, but I thought I'd put the camera on and make a bit of a, a rando vlog. I have to say just recently, the comments section has been getting very entertaining across my videos, not like the current videos, we're talking about old ones, and then they suddenly get picked up and then people start leaving comments on them. I have had some utterly bizarre stuff said to me in the past week, like people's notions of ideas and stuff. One person told me the MotoGP lever guards, you know, the ones that just hook around the end to stop you uh, bumping your brake into someone else while you're racing, or their boot coming back and hitting your brake lever, that is what they are there for. Well, no, that's not the reason they're there, apparently. Apparently, it's to stop the wind making the front brake drag. As in, you're going so fast, the wind pressure is putting the front brake on. Now, theoretically, at some incredible speeds, this would actually probably be slightly true, and there may be a very small amount of pressure put on the lever, but no, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not what they're for. And I just wonder, really? <laughs> See that coming? And I just wonder if um, if what they've heard of is like wind guards and thought that the wind guard was guarding the lever from the wind, not the hand from the cold wind. The thing is, when these things are said, they're never said with like a, is it not for this? Or like a curious question or a, is it not that? Which is completely normal to do. It's, they're always delivered in a style of, no, you are wrong. Listen to me, little boy. That's actually to stop the wind putting your front brake on. <laughs> they have baby on board signs behind a tinted window. Can, can I just highlight that? They have signs behind a tinted window. Sure. <laughs> now I don't want to go into some massive rant about this, which is something I've noticed. And, and the reason I'm concerned is because things tend to cross over sooner or later. So. Oh, although it really is it is it that old why is your foot hanging down this person keeps hanging their foot down for no apparent reason is it like some cool thing like a ghetto lean when you ride along with one foot hanging off the bike i don't get it sorry uh on facebook there is a trend of these videos going now which are about 15 minutes of people doing absolutely nothing they'll have random items together and they'll try and make it look like they're doing something very important and they'll narrate it and they'll talk through it and then they'll get to the end and it's just completely pointless. It's like smushing foam into a wall with some paint or something, you know? It, literally the ridiculousness of that. Now, the reason this concerns me is because this only exists and only works because of the algorithm. Because people are watching it, regardless of what they say about it or how much they like it, although it does have likes because people are too dumb to know that it's actually just a time-wasting piece of 18-minute video and they're like, oh, there, that's cool, but I'm too dumb to understand what it is and click like anyway. I don't know. Why has it got so many bloody likes? But the point is, if this stuff works on Facebook, it's like elongated clickbait. This is another level. There is literally no content. It is just an 18-minute clickbait. And people seem to be interacting with it enough for it to keep shoving it in everyone's faces. Now, if this is the reality of how the algorithms are going to control things, it is only so long before all you see is that crap and no decent content creators will ever, ever get seen. Because you cannot compete with... You know, you'll, you'll see on Instagram, they'll have a, a strange picture and then you like, what's that all about? And you swipe across and then it will be one of those hug rings. And you'll know about the hug ring I'm talking about. It's like two arms going around your finger. Yeah, it's a cheap, cheap, cheap ring, which has been sold for Valentine's and Christmas and every possible bloody reason you can think of. And the one that they show is a lot nicer than the one that you get. These scams must be making someone millions because the scale and the and the longevity of it most things well, i won't say it's a scam although not getting the product you order is a bit of a scam but the way that it's all advertised 
It's completely illegal. It doesn't follow any of the rules that are, are required in this country. But of course, because it's from outside the country, there's nothing that's any, ever going to get done about it. To me, it's a scary example of what the algorithm can actually end up doing. Watch it, mate. Fuck it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... That's tight! That's way... He can't get out of that! That's way too tight! <laughs> Not put my feet down. Not put my feet down. Oh, yeah! Now we're in the bit called Old Portsmouth, and this is where it leads down to all the really old stuff from, you know, like Henry VIII's time. Pigeon, pigeon, oh! and I've arrived at the shop I want to go to. I hope they're open. <laughs> Probably should check that earlier. Uh, motorcycle's free. I'm going to be able to get in here without causing. Yeah, that works. If I go right slap bang in the middle like that, both can get out. One of the most common questions about my uh, inert ammunition collection I get, you know, you see in the back of the um, Q&A videos, is where on earth can you even get that from? Many, many different places, uh, and places like this. This is a place called Sally's Antiques, but they're military people as well as antique specialists. They do all sorts of stuff. They also sell quite a lot of deactivated firearms. Yes, that is Sally's Antiques. I don't have any affiliation with them. I haven't got a discount from them or anything like that. I'm just letting you know they exist because, as I say, people ask me where I, where you can build a collection like mine from online, uh, and I'm not going to give any promotion to any of those companies because I have no reason to. Uh, but those people are really good. Uh, I, I, they're very friendly and I like them. In fact, I've done a video many years ago in another place similar, uh, and that was actually them, but in their old store. This is much nicer, this one. And you don't get accosted by the guards at HMS Victory going, you want to pay? He's like, no, I want to go to the shop behind the place. Well, you're going to have a ticket. No, I don't. I want to go to the shop behind the place. <laughs> they have problems, as I understand it, getting customers through to their shop because the people in front on the gate were like, no, you've got to have a ticket to get through here. And we're through. I don't even want to go that way. this wasn't such a thing until more recent months where people were like why do you collect those things i'm interested in the engineering and the history and i like having things that can be a reference to that and it's not a glorification of the use of them in fact i think that most of these things are disgusting the the engineering that went into it is fantastically brutally disgusting like that someone sat down there and used their ability to make or create to make something that doesn't create things, it finishes things, it ends things, it's, it's not, I don't like it at all to be honest with you. If human beings had put that much effort into developing things that help us rather than things that kill us, I think we would be in a better place. However, that doesn't change human nature. Oh, the other day I had no choice to put some E10 in Derek, and again I could tell the difference, it's just lumpy when it's cold and just doesn't seem very happy. It's currently got like E7.5 in it because I managed to find some E5. Why is there a carrot on the side of the road? Just right hand turn in the world. I, I want that lane, but I have an issue right now. Hello, one of you. I want that lane. What am I kidding? There are six gears on this. Why is there a 
fake bird of prey on a string up a tree. What is that? I thought it was a dog. It's a buzzard sat in the field. Buzzards, you may not know, eat a lot of worms and beetles and stuff like that. They don't actually really hunt stuff so much. They will, and they can. But beetles are easy and they're full of protein. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Uh, this was my first proper trip out on a bike for a, a little while. Uh, and yeah, I feel, I feel all right. Um, I'm definitely not 100% and the other stuff's gonna, you know, it's gonna play on my mind a little bit until uh, we get some answers. But there's no point worrying too much about it because it is what it is. You can't change it until you know. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, however, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here. We are very nearly 1,000 subscribers away from 100,000. These are things I thought I would never say. I think I may have remembered saying I'm 99,000 away from, <laughs> from 100,000 before now. But yeah, uh, a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters who have supported me and stayed with me even though my video production slowed down a bit. Um, and it may not get up to full speed just yet. I've, I've got to get through a few things, but Thank you, I appreciate it. So until the next one, bye bye.